What is going on, everybody? And in, in this video, we're providing you a state of the market in the stock picks for November 4th, 2022. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing as I do provide daily and weekly updates to get you prepared for the day and the week ahead in this glorious market. Now, uh, what we had uh, essentially uh, post Powell, post uh monetary policy uh, we did come in and flush a little bit today uh, we actually held a lot better than i thought we would uh, for the most part now that we have kind of got the statement from powell and know where his head's at uh, what we're looking at is data we're back to data we've actually from what powell has stated uh, people are going to start putting a lot more weight in data again. Uh, considering we do have a core next week, uh, we do have non-farms tomorrow. So those will come out uh, pre-market. And we will see how much it's going to uh, affect the market tomorrow. Uh, at this point, uh, again, I think it's going to be overly sensitive as compared to what it could have been. Um, if If events had played out a little bit differently uh, just on Wednesday. Uh, but uh, with that being said, uh, we do have the core next week, and that's going to hold, uh, make ultimate judgment on what happens next. Now, even though we sold, if for some reason inflation is down next week, uh, we're going to rally right back. On the other hand, if inflation, if the inflation is still sitting around 8 or starts bumping up a little bit, that's going to be a cause of concern. And I'm talking about it only has to go back up to like 8.5. It doesn't really even need to make an all-time high. Uh, that just means the 75-point basis moves are not working, which would probably cause um, the Fed to take bigger action. And then you would see the correction off of that. Uh, or otherwise, like I said, it could come in lower than 8. And then people would actually... Uh, you put that hopium back in the market. Uh, we are missing that right now. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll see. Uh, things are still looking really bad. Um, you know, the ECB, right, they just uh, hit a 33-year uh, top of an inflation. And uh, they're expecting to top out around 11. So they're expecting to top out here pretty soon in Q4. Something I talked about is I think we're going to really top out on inflation on Q1 of next year, uh, about midway. Uh, that kind of puts us about in the middle of uh, winter. And I think at that point, we'll see peak inflation, and then we'll start to see uh, inflation come down a little bit from that point. Um, not to say that it's going to go right away. This inflation doesn't just go right away. It's something that's lingering. Uh, it'd be a working progress, but I think we could start recovering some from that point. Uh, so we have to see what happens uh, again, going, just going into tomorrow. Uh, a lot of earnings are still doing really bad. You have some companies are doing really excelling really well and some aren't doing hot at all. Uh, you know, Apple barely, essentially barely um, beat estimates in Iran because of the hope was so strong. And then as soon as we found out yesterday, it was one of the first things to sell off uh, big time. Again, because Powell calling it premature to think that we're just going to pivot. Uh, we don't know until we get the reports. I think they could provide more insight into that, into the next monetary policy once they have two cores uh, to see what another an, an additional 75-point basis move does. Uh, then they could really gauge on, on, on what they could potentially see going into next year or potentially ending this year with a 50-point basis move. Again, I still think a 50-point basis move is... Uh, is again probably very premature right now but uh, again we have to see we have to see what the core says the core has to come down a lot um for them to to start easing off of uh 75 point basis moves but with that being said uh technical wise uh we are close close to this support the 200 weekly support is sitting at 36 uh, 78 uh let's see if we can hold above that into tomorrow if we can, I think that would be more of a bullish sentiment. I actually wouldn't be surprised if it kind of hovered in this current zone that we're currently in, which is roughly around top range being uh, this 37.52 in the bottom range 
essentially being this uh, 3700. So I think we could potentially hover here until we get core. And then when we get core, uh, we'll determine if we head back down to 3600. Or, well, 3600 is right there. If we do break past 3600 and make a new low, uh, I think it would be able to tell us if that's the case or not. But um, with that being said, uh, the general index, again, every, tech took pretty much a beating and bounced right back today. Uh, and then everything just was kind of stagnant the rest of the day. We did sell off a little bit towards the end of the day. But again, I don't expect us to break 3,700. It could break tomorrow, uh, just in anticipation for the core. Uh, people may be more fearsome now of the core because of what Powell said. Uh, but we have to see um, the Powell effect lingers for a couple of days. So we have to wait and see how that does play out. The dollar and skyrocketed yesterday because of uh, Powell. Uh, and now it's pushing back up. Um, I guarantee you it'll be back up here. We'll be making new all-time highs in the next coming days. And then uh, whatever the core brings us uh, really depends on where we land with this thing. Uh, but I do see us beating uh, a previous all-time high here at the essentially 115. I think we could beat that pretty easy uh, going in the next couple of days. Tesla, <clears throat> Tesla's floating around. Uh, this area, again, it holds 200 very well. It's not saying you can't break it. Uh, I think if it does break, the we've seen if it does break 200, it gets uh, chewed up pretty quick. So kind of really watching this to see if it does break it and see how quick it can go down. Again, looking for that uh, monthly support around the 185. Um, again, I'm not really sure the market will go down that far. Again, the whole market in general needs to be selling off pretty heavy for this to dip that far down, but we have to see. Uh, so kind of watching that tomorrow. Again, I don't really see a lot of upside. Uh, we attempted to push back up, retested, and just sold right back off. So we'll see what happens. It could be potentially a higher low. Again, it really depends on where we land tomorrow. Uh, if we do break up tomorrow, we need to hold above the essentially the 227 and, and to make it at least a run for attempt a run to 245. You know, if the nom farms are good tomorrow, that could be a potential good play, but I want to see uh, Airbnb. I want to watch this one uh, roughly around this 89, 90 mark. I want to see if it can hold it. Again, you are in a strong support for Airbnb here. Uh, so I want to kind of see if it does hold. Uh, could potentially add more here, get back in here uh, and um, and see where this thing goes. I do really like this. It did do well on earnings. It's just a forward guidance. There's a lot of concerns. Uh, with things going on and there's but actually today there has been a lot of news about laying off uh, a lot of big corporations are pausing uh, amazon and google or amazon and apple um, and then you have a lot more layoffs throughout the banks and everything else so people aren't going to have uh, extra uh, cash laying around to try to do anything with that so it'll be interesting to see there um, snow is another one i want to be watching very carefully i'd really like it down at this lower level um, so roughly around here, around the 115 would be great. So I'm not sure it's going to ever reach that, uh, but that's my buy zone down there. I want to kind of watch that very closely as it does uh, rebound quite quickly. So again, we're really watching the 118 on there. Uh, BA, BA monster rip today. Again, there were, I think there was some obviously some news going on there, uh, but nonetheless, uh, BA doing well right now. Um, I think it's kind of helping keeping the market up. A lot of people are buying into value for whatever reason. Uh, value is going to be hurting just as bad as everything else. So we'll see what happens. But BA uh, could potentially roll over here. And when it does, it's going to bring everything else with it. Uh, but it is, I think, currently helping. It does hold a lot of weight in the market. So we'll see what happens. JPM, again, banks are kind of holding, uh, which is interesting. Surprise, this thing actually didn't roll over and start selling quickly today. So we're really watching this level here, uh, the 124. If it breaks 124, I think it can get pretty nasty. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if tomorrow. I think non-farms will really determine if we start selling off pretty heavy into the weekend. Uh, could start that ball rolling very easily. Again, I think it's more heavily weighted, especially after the way Powell uh, approached or filled a lot of questions on Wednesday. And I think, um, again, it puts a little bit more weight in some of these uh, data sets that are coming out. So uh, JPM, GS, again, same thing. Uh, again, these things went parabolic. They haven't really pulled back yet. So just be mindful of that. I'm kind of really looking for 
the downside, I talk about breakouts and stuff, and you know, to the upside, things really just don't break out. The downside, they break down pretty well. So this one, um, you got to be really careful. This could retrace back at least 75% of this move. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Essentially, put your bar on a 309 mark. Yeah, I think this thing can pull back if it does start to pull back tomorrow. Again, highly dependent upon the um, the non farms and how the market interprets that, and then uh, go from that point. So, but that's pretty much what I got. I don't want to make this video too long because uh, again, there's not really a lot. There's non farms tomorrow, but that's pretty much what I got. There's non farms tomorrow, and uh, I want to see how that goes. I think it could push the market in a particular direction. Uh, so keeping a close eye on that. But aside from that, I think uh, everything else is good. I'll wait and see how things go and um, take it from there. As long as you're managing risk, you got to stay alive in this market. That's the biggest thing. If you can stay alive in this market, things will cycle back around and things will get better. So just be mindful of that. Um, but aside from that, have a great day and I will see you guys on the field.